Yo right there guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG episode 4 and when I say this, you guys are killing it and I am so grateful. I know the term like thank you, sorry gets thrown about, thank you. But seriously, what is happening to the channel? I did say that I wanted to take it to another level, but you guys destroyed the light target. 4,002 was hit. I asked for three. If you want to keep this series daily, 3,000 likes or 4,000, I don't mind. Drop a like on today's video. And the question of the day that I want to ask you, what defensive style are you using right now? So you've got an option between drop back, press up the possession loss, press on heavy touch, or balance. Because I want to go over some of the tactics today, what's working for me. I've even seen progression because I was playing some Div Rivals last night on the RTG for the placement games, squad battles, I've been trading, I've got packs. This is going to be a juicy one. So I hope you enjoy it, and we're going to get uh, straight into it right now with our squad battle reward. So I did say that I was going to be playing a few, and in total I spent like an hour or so not even grinding this out. I was just casually playing, I dropped it on professional difficulty because I knew I didn't have enough time to go and push into like the high gold ranks or low elites. So I just took the 4,000 coins, one gold pack and two premium gold packs. And as I have been playing rivals, I wanna like go over uh, how I'm experiencing like the game. Uh, what I what I think that is working for me right now and we've got packs because as we're playing we unlock challenges objectives and all that good stuff so without further ado we've got to go and open these packs and see what's happening right now so leave a like and let's go so our coin total is up to 24,548 we've been busy and our record eight games two draws two losses and I have been able to get myself up to the vision Four. The placement games, I won four out of five, and the fifth one, it was a draw. So I didn't drop really any points, and I was able to get into, I think this is the highest possible rank after winning all of the games or winning four and drawing one. I, I think the max is division three. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's quite high. And what I noticed in the last game, I wasn't getting worked up though. And that's the really good thing. Uh, the squad that I had put together in the last episode, I want to go over some of those key players. I have made some more changes because I know what's wrong with it, but it's still, you've got to consider it's a starter team. So it's only going to get me so far. But I played against someone who was using like a full Serie A team within four Mertens. He was a very good player and he was... Uh, he was out teaming me and my God, it opened up my eyes to what I need to change and that is key. As long as you're taking losses or even when you're winning, you are knowing what needs to be improved, that is what you gotta uh, figure out. So I need to go and open these packs. We have, oh, what's selling right now? 28,548. We've been busy, boys, and there is a beast that you guys need to buy. I cannot believe his price on the market. I've been trading with him, but don't get me wrong, right? Although I'm trading with him right now, I'm going to stop. It's not that I've invested heavily, and then I'm going to get you guys to go and buy him to cause his price to go up. That's not what I'm all about. I don't think even his price will go up because on the full release, he's going to get flooded because he's low rated. But I cannot believe how cheap he is. Anyway, let's get into these packs, boys. Bronze uh, rewards. I mean, the bronze cards are decent because they provide loyalty. And I still haven't uh, sorted out League of Nation hybrids or any of those advanced SBCs, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Or, do you know what I might do? Is just save all of my packs through those uh, SBCs for the one to watch promo. So if I could pack like a big one to watch, that'd be pretty sick. But 25,000 coins is more than enough to complete, I think, no way have I got a walkout. Oh, I think it's a middle one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an 85 or lower. Damn. Sule? Boateng. You know what, right? Boateng is a big pull. 84 rated. 66 pace. They know what I'm doing. EA are watching. Big Brother's watching. That gets into our team. I have switched up our, our starting 11. And I've gone for a Bundesliga theme. You're about to see it, right? And one of the reasons why is because of this beast. Uh, well, not Boateng, but 10,000. Please say it's tradable. Oh. Oh, I see. That's how it is, EA. You give me untradable. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Is he playable, though? Six foot four, 91 strength. I mean, the acceleration and the sprint speed, I want to speak about that a little bit later on in today's video. The fending is there. The jumping is pretty average, but he looks... 
He does look solid. I'll have to at least give him a go, right? But that's a big pull. 84 rated. He's going to be useful a, a little bit later on uh, with the rating, the chemistry links being from um, Bayern Munich. That's uh, that's a good card. 84 rated. That's the biggest pull that we've had so far in the Ultimate Team series. So that pack was obviously through the milestones, the season objectives. So most of that stuff is untradeable. We should have expected it, right? If we're getting walkouts so early on, EA are going to find a way. Oh, the best center back in, in the Premier League. Let's sell 59 pace. That is false. Have you seen him? The powerful runs down the left. He's doing that a lot more often now. And I think that Steve Bruce has told Fabian Scher to push up uh, a little bit more. But Lascelles, um, a little bit of a, a poor card. The jumping, though, the physical stats are very nice. Defending is fine. It's just really the lack of sprint speed and, yeah, acceleration. But Lascelles, he will be added. And once again, is that tradable or untradable? It is trade. All right, that one's tradable. Okay, okay. All right, that's tradable, though. And all of that stuff is going to be helpful for those uh, advanced SBCs. Next pack, boys. Come on. We're going to... Oh, it's rare, at least. That's how you can... No, it's an inform. That's an inform. That's an inform. Oh, right wing. Is it an inform? Yes, it is. And is it tradable though? Bund Bundu. Yes, Bundu. It's 91 pace, 75 shot, 74 dribbling though. Right wing, 75 rated. He doesn't look amused at all. Like Christ, man, crack a smile or something. 75. It's a it's a it's a bad looking card though. That. Uh, Oh my, it's tradable, boys. Tradable. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, his reactions are really, really poor, and his composure is so low. But he's six foot two, three star, three star. Damn, like he's got some key stats, but then can you really get away with using three star, three star? I mean, that kind of reaction, composure, finishing only 73, 83 strength, though, 80 jumping. He might be a pretty decent impact sub as a strike. I might bring him on. I might bring him on. I'm not going to get rid of him so uh, so soon. That's our first inform in a series, and it's our first, like, 84. Uh, we've got some decent pack luck today. Our luck is changing, right? Um, we've got the... Uh, well, this is the Real Madrid low and E, right? Uh, Arsenal. 74 stamina. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. His dribbling and reactions. Uh, I mean, I think he looks pretty good. The shooting, kind of average, but I mean, you don't want him pushing up too much, but then again, he's got high to medium work rates. Good vision though, good passing, maybe. Uh, I bet he's worth a fair amount. Nope, uh, 1,003, and that's someone that will be flooded on the game uh, very, very quickly. Gutierrez, we've already got a Mexican in our starting 11, which is Hector Herrera, and he has been outstanding. But next pack, premium gold. So this was worthwhile, uh, just playing a few squad battle games, and we've been blessed with this kind of pack luck. That's nothing special. Don't get carried away. What is it? It might be overpowered players, though. Bender. It is Bender. No, we need another Bundesliga right back that I have bought. Well, not the correct one. I'm wanting um, a guy who goes by Mbabu. I want Mbabu, but he's extinct. And I'm really, really mad. Because that guy is just the best that you can really bring in right now. For 10,000 coins, I want Mbabu so bad. A small Electrum Players Pack. So that was from uh, Season Objectives. Yeah, this was season objectives. I don't, I don't think it's going to be anything. No, it's not, boys. Anyway, let's get to the trade pile. I've got some big trades, and I've got a player that I haven't used yet, but surely he's going to be a beast. Let's go and see who it is. So one thing I want to explain quickly. In the last episode, I was looking through the comment section, and I did see a few saying, Yo, Fuj, what are you doing? You said that you didn't want to spend 4006 or so on a Yelson Martins, and you go and purchase a De La Feu. Now, please hear me out. I know it seems like a stupid thought process at the time, but before I started recording the video, I was checking Yelson Martins' bin, his start price, and none of them were being listed for a good amount that I could have made profit or I felt comfortable purchasing for that 
that price. And then Delafeu popped out of nowhere. Like I wasn't planning to make that purchase, but for 4,006 or however cheap we sniped him for, I thought that was pretty sick. And I was able to use him last night in division rivals. I was winning games. I was getting the coin boost. But then I had a second thought. Squad Battle Rewards are coming out later in the night and he is going to be flooded. And a lot of these low rated cards are going to struggle to be able to recover. And then before we know it, the full release is here. More packs are being opened and you'll probably see a Delafeu drop to like 2000, 2005. So that's why 5008 bin is very, very expensive for an 80 rated, but he's awesome in game. So I definitely recommend going for him. Konete, this is the beast. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Hopefully I am. 2002 I've been selling him for, guess how much the purchase price? 1007 to 1009. As I was getting some cheap ones, I think someone else saw, and then they bumped it up as per usual. Don't get frustrated, I'll go and show you my uh, transfer watch list, and I'll show you all of the ones that I was able to, uh, well, miss out on. But this beast, I don't know why he is so cheap. Could be the 79 overall and he's getting packed a lot. But you look at his face stats, 78 pace, which is amazing. 80 defending, 78 physical, 68 dribbling. But that's not the full story. You look inside, six foot four, high tie work rates, which I don't really mind so much. He's gonna well, stay back for the most part. And I have my CDM on a really interesting tactic, which is drop between defenders. And I feel like this FIFA is causing the fullbacks to be a little bit more attacking. And I like that right now in the 4 2 one 2 Then we look at his in-game stats. What is that? 85 stand tackle on a 79 overall with decent strength his defending stats are perfect the reactions are a little bit low but then you've got the sprint speed the acceleration he looks so overpowered and i have had to drop the russian that we have purchased i didn't sell him but i'm wanting to really figure out how to uh Fix the team, because in the right back position, I've got some issues. Mario Fernandez, I really do rate, but if you're someone that is relying on their fullbacks to push on, I think his pace on the track back is where I'm getting caught. On the opposite side, Lodi is playable, just about. But I do believe that with the way I want to play on FIFA 20, I need like 88 minimum. And this guy with 79 acceleration, he's costing me a little bit. But if you're someone that is playing a little bit more defensive and you don't want your fullbacks joining the attack, let's say you're in a 4-4-2, which is already providing a lot of width, Mario Fernandez on a stay back while attacking, he is a monster. And I like him on the ball as well. It's just a shame about his pace. That's the only thing that's holding him back for me. So I did go and purchase quite a few of those. Uh, the cams are sentiments you would have seen in the last episode, but we are now up to 28,614. And we are making some decent profit. And look at these. I missed them for 2000, like 2002. It's not worth my while buying in for two and then trying to sell them for 2002 or 2003. So I just ignore it. And that's uh, one thing that I'd recommend to you boys. Just walk away. If someone is outbidding you consistently, don't get frustrated. Just move on to another card. I know it can be annoying, but just move on to another card and you can already see just with a few games that I've played and a bit of trading, we've got a decent looking side that I want to share with you and we're on 28,000 coins. It's a good start to the series and we've already just pulled an inform that we can sell for 10,000. So hybrid leagues, whatever nations we're going to be completing, that's coming very, very soon. If I remember rightly, in the last episode, I did ask you, does anyone know how to change the club name? Because we're still on Ultimate 3 and we need a switch to ultimate four. So this is where you wanna go. It's foundations, basics, change club name, and press Y, and we're about to set it right now. And as I do uh, stream quite a lot, what did I do? Oh my God, I gotta type out all of again. Because I stream quite a lot on the Twitch channel, a lot of people don't know if I'm on my main account or I'm on my RTG. So the abbreviation is gonna be nice and simple. RTG. I have spelt that right before I make a mess. Ultimate 4. That's good. Ultimate 4. That is right. Okay. RTG, boys. It starts here. But all of the other stuff um, that we're able to claim right now has just come from uh, grinding out the game a little bit. Uh, we've got 150 coins for changing the club name. And that surely gains us some sort of XP because we've just completed the whole challenge. Claim reward, silver pack, there you go. So we've done that, silver packs, awesome. Uh, we will open that in a little bit. Competitive play, play five, um, well, rival matches. Some people are saying the squad fitness is glitched. 
Last night, I think I had like four or five games and it went down to around like 89 in five games. That seems like pretty decent. With the players that I was using, bear in mind like a few people did rage quit, but I think that's pretty good. So if that, if that continues, then I don't know how many fitness cards I'll apply on um on my team for the weekend league oh no weekend league is different though just in case you get taken to extra time premium goal pack 13 damn we get even even more packs in today's episode go on uh season objectives early access packs consumables okay i'll, I'll take some consumables as well sweet and then the last one that we need to redeem uh before we go and take a look at some of the upgrades that we've made for this starting 11 oh okay okay we've got to claim this one well i want the panther the panther looks unbelievable yes please confirm that and assign it to my club we got clickbaited you know that informed stadium it's not an informed stadium it's one of those and that really annoyed me because i was under the impression that it was going to be all blacked out and it was going to just look look epic and it really isn't so thank you ea you made me play uh, fifa 19 a little bit longer than i wanted to anyway let's go and open these packs where are they uh, three packs. I think one of them is a, yeah, premium gold 13. So what, is it going to be give me 13 rares or just 13 players? Probably 13 players. The silvers, though, are going to be valuable very soon. And one thing that I'm thinking about doing on the main account is opening up silver packs just to get ready for the league SBCs. And with bronze pack method, how important is that going to be on FIFA 20? That will come with time. Like, it doesn't really hurt us doing that, but our bronze is really that valuable right now. Um, I, I don't think so. I can't see it. But that's why if you already have the bronzes and they're needed for some sort of requirement, you're making a lot. But three rares. Okay, so it is a mixture of gold items included in players and consumables. Three rares. Maybe a walk out of this. Surely, give me a rare though. Like a proper rare. Yes. High rated rare. That's not going to be anything special though. I can already tell. An overpowered player? Yes. Corona, have you seen him? Five star, five star, Ligonos. And the Ligonos do have like really good players that you wouldn't mind uh, building a team around. The strength is very poor, the stamina is a little bit low, but what he's gonna provide, playmaking, dribbling, and pace, or the acceleration anyway. Five star, five star. It doesn't look outstanding, but if you are really on a budget, you've at least got some quality for pretty much discard. Let me uh, compare the price. Yeah, 650, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. And we've got a manager from the Premier League. We've got an engine chem style. That's all sweet. And then the last pack, consumables. And we've got some uh, nice upgrades to go and take a look at. Oh, 75 to 80. Well, I'll just take the rare then, just in case. Oh, Guilavogi. Yes, please. Guilavogi. He looks uh, pretty solid. And one player has just taken me by a surprise. And I need to go and speak to you about him right now right boys we've had a little bit of a reshuffle with our starting 11 the last episode you would have seen the russians down the right hand side and they've got me so far and they've been playing very very well the center back is overpowered even i can even goal he was fine and gulovin i was really liking what he was uh, providing in total we've played eight games he hasn't scored anything but what i'm using him for is playmaking dropping back defending and he has brought that composure to my starting 11 for 700 coins. Well recommended and you can't go wrong with that purchase. But I wanna be taking the team to another level. And I did mention earlier in the video, my fullbacks are costing me because I am wanting them to be involved in the attack to provide width to the 4 one 2 one 2 I've noticed now on the game that if you don't have like 90 odd pace, well, for me personally, I'm getting caught. Like Lodi is just about bearable with 84. So I need at least 88, 90 if I'm wanting to really uh, push myself and take my game to another level. That's why I was looking at Mbabu uh, to slot into this right back position, but he isn't on the market. And 10,000 coins uh, for someone that's going to get flooded anyway and could come down to like 2,000, 3,000 come full release, I think it's just a risky purchase. So for that reason, I'm going to be using this guy as a filler. And although he looks worse than Mario Fernandez, so I've kind of contradicted myself a little bit. I I've looked at upgrade the team and the one position that i really wanted to upgrade he's worse but just for now uh, i've got some issues right so acceleration sprint speed i'm hoping that he can just do a good enough job his defending is pretty poor though like those interceptions are are really bad um another another way i could take this team is going to the Ligue 1, right 
as I got confused, I thought Golovin was at the Russian uh, in the Russian league. So as he's from Monaco, I could drop in maybe Atel in the right back position with Faisal in for four star skills, really good pace, good control on the ball, which is what I'm looking for as well to hold possession, hype the pitch. So Atel looks like a go to for his prize. And then that would allow me to bring back uh, Golovin instead of using uh, this Austrian with the 86 sprint speed though. You know I like my pace and the stamina is quite high. The dribbling I think is good enough. And if Golovin wasn't scoring goals then I don't really necessarily need uh, this man to do it. We've got ourselves Bebu in the right wing position that's going to be playing as a right striker for today. Medium medium work rate 6 foot, 1,600 coins, 4 star skills. Um, like he's okay he's okay he's really been brought in for this man as i was getting on with catrone last night for some weird reason i went and purchased a jose Perez for 500 coins and he literally went missing he didn't do anything so i went back to catrone and he was at least offering like that target man role he was scoring goals he was assisting he was playmaking and then I look at this guy right here, and he resembles well, with a target man. He's like five foot ten. He doesn't have that typical pace, but look at the dribbling stats, the finishing, and he has four star, four star. Surely he is going to be an animal alongside a bit of pace. And then I've got Yota that is just outrageously good for his price and the way he plays. He is such a beast. Like you need to buy Yota and test him out for yourselves. Then I was using Ruben Neves on that drop uh, back in between defenders tactics. And I'm just blown away with how he plays. I I'm I, I don't know why he's so good for me. 62 pace. I wouldn't have gone anywhere near that on FIFA 19. And for some reason, he's only got me so far though, but I'm now in Division 4, so it's tough games against some really strong squads. But he's still performing, and I've got to appreciate that. And then obviously this beast, I cannot wait to try him today. One thing that I haven't been doing though is applying Ken Styles. And I really will do that. This Centurion I brought uh, I brought um, on in one of the placement matches as an impact sub in the 85th minute. And he already scored a goal. But then I brought him on again and he didn't. But he has like a pretty decent shot, it feels like. And he's so fast in game with really, really good stats. So I want to show you the tactics. I always do that. Oh, one thing as well. Um, I think I was asking you boys, how do you customize your... Um, your club and you just go to that menu and keep pressing RB and we can change all of these filtering to celebrations um, Oh, that would be our default celebration. What do we want to use? Do we want to use this one? Um, nah, I don't want to use what's the pipe one stir the pot. Yes yeah, stir the pot. That's what I'm gonna use. It's terrible That is awful. Let me show you the uh, custom tactics. Oh Jesus. Hold on a minute Let's take out um Let's say you take out Nabri just for now. No, no, no. Nabri's, that's a bad move. Nabri's really good. I want to test out this man, Bundu. Get him on the pitch for a bit. Vinicius Jr. I don't use as an impact sub anyway. So that's why uh, I'll have Nabri there. I should use Vinicius Jr. But that should be all good. Uh, maybe bring uh, Bundu on for... Uh, Bembu, but custom tactics. Uh, this has been working really, really well for me. So 4 1 2 1 2, everything on balance. 4 4. Uh, that's six and five and then the custom tactics really the only thing that i'd recommend changing is drop between defenders two strikers getting behind yotta is on stay forward and then the fullbacks are on balance but keep in mind we are going to be coming up against some very very good players right now and i'm probably going to lose but 550 for adam that was a recent purchase who are we coming up against 442 damn that is a strong strong team that's a lot stronger than ours Yes, great challenge. He was looking to do that kickoff boost. Right, take my time. We've got new players though, so it's going to take us a while to get used to them. We just got to keep uh, keep in mind that we shouldn't really expect too much. It's going to take maybe a couple of games to see how they're performing. We've got some good runners off the ball. Yes, Benbu, just take your time. Got maybe a few too many people bombing up the pitch. Nice and patient though. Finish. Finish. Oh my. Not again today. No way. Who is that? Oh, Kramaric. Our new signing. Clinical. That's what we need. Four star, four star. He could be a beast. Great goal. This guy is just pacing, pacing, pacing. That is what he's doing right now. And unfortunately, the game allows you to do that when you're against those slow defenders. So really, the best advice I can give you is to at least get some pace in your starting 11. 
Good. Well done. Just take my time a little bit more. Any attack. You don't want to, don't want to do anything too silly. Yotta. He's trying to protect those areas of the pitch. But as we are in this uh, commanding position, we don't need to do anything too silly. Don't need to do anything too crazy. Oh, oh he's rushed it. Put it back, put it back. Um, he, he's dropped a lot of players behind the ball. Maybe he's worried right now. With uh, with the way we've been playing. Oh, I rushed it. Damn, I was going to play it over to, um, to Bembu. Oh, no. Out wide. Yes, what a ball. Go, go, go. This new Austrian beast. Remember my Austrians from like a few years ago? They were amazing. Good ball down the line, though. We haven't really been too, um, too crazy on the ball. Uh, we've just been trying to keep it nice and simple. Just trying to focus on that footwork right now. Um, he's, he has dropped too many players behind the ball, though. Yes. Oh, Bembu. He's using his physical stats to drop back. That's awesome. He's going to be panicking. He's going to be the one to be pushing out his players. Slowly but surely. We're going to find our way through. That's a bit of a heavy touch, though. And his team was stacked, to be fair. Syria side. Go. Yes. Through. Lovely build-up play. What? No. What a goal, though. That was fantastic. So patient. And Ruben Neves deserved the performance that he's been putting in recently. I cannot recommend him enough. One thing that I'm loving about FIFA 20 is that in the future, I'm going to be able to bring in some awesome center mids. And that's something that I was restricted with because 4-2-3-1 was my go-to. And I really wanted to use like Florenzi. Um, that like, well, it was one of those special versions of Florenzi as a center mid. I wanted Timothy and Modric. And now FIFA, FIFA 20, I'm going to be able to do that. As long as I just keep practicing and get good with this formation. But I'm playing very, very well today. Like the patience is key. Just across goal, unlucky. Patience is key. Nah, I rushed that. That was bad. Oh, good defending. Yota, well played, well played. I did tell you, we're going to be coming up against some very good teams right now. And we've been out teamed, but we haven't been outplayed. 69% possession. We're controlling it. Our pass accuracy is super high. And I'm turning into like a possession player, but also having the ability to be direct when I want to. So we're going to be switching up the tempo whenever we like. Let's keep control of this game. Good play. Oh, rush that. Oh, Nigola, no. Wow. Come on. The cheese is real. A long shot, a hit and hope. First real shot of the game. God damn. Douglas Costa, I was using though on my main account, and he's amazing. We're going to make a sub. Bembu is coming off, and Bundu, with that pace and the power, is coming on. And I think uh, that's the only thing I'm going to change right now. Right, let's just bang this one really, really high up the pitch. Go on. Oh, he didn't really react to that. Go on. Take your time. Through ball. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. And Yota never misses. So if I can find that already, this new inform has pulled off one of the best back heels I've ever seen. Well done. So take your time. Little chip in the middle. This is the composure that I really want to just bring to my game, right? Because now he's got to, like, push and, and press. Because for the most part, he's just been sitting back, playing drop backs, similar to, like, FIFA 19. And now he's, like, desperate to get back into the game. This is where it starts opening up. And I've ripped him open. Bundu the Beast. 4-1 against a pretty strong team. And we've destroyed him. Bundu, this is the Beast. Same with uh, the center back, though. All of these guys. Look at him. Double ball roll and a good shot. What's his composure? Watch out, watch out. Close him down. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That was probably the best goal because the last one he scored was very, very poor and it was too RNG. That one you can kind of accept. Uh, I should have closed him down a little bit quicker and he got the shot out early on the edge of the box. So fair enough. That was fine. And Ribic looks really, really good. Good pass. Very nice. And then around the corner. Yes, Yota in this position. He's still running, bless him. I'm going to try and shoot across goal. Yota is performing better than the majority of rares that I've used on this game. And I'm being genuine. 1,000 coins. He should be about 4k, 5k. Like, that's 
If he was a rare, he would be about 4,005. So once you start realizing that some of the passes on FIFA 19 that were on, that you could quickly build up one, two, give and go, that don't work on FIFA 20, that's when you start adapting, you slow down your play, you play it around, and you're taking your time. And I think that even my mindset now has completely changed when I approach this game, and I've already seen some, um, some improvements, man. And that was devastating so our skill rating is 1296 we're in division four and as my game is unlocked later tonight on the on the 24th which is the pre-ordered version we are going to be able to have full access and be able to grind to get to uh, rank one well that's the aim and even if we go on a losing streak because if we get up to like 1005 skill rating we'll be put up against like elite quality guys uh, top 100 players pro players whatever you name it that is the level that I want to be at, even if I'm on a losing streak, because then the players underneath them, when we get into the weekend league, it's going to feel so much easier. And that's uh, one thing that I don't want to avoid, because on FIFA 19, I would admit, I was looking for like more of the easier games because it was very, very stressful. But if we can just like increase our standard as a FIFA player, and that is how good we are, then it will just feel like casual games anyway in the weekend league. So... It's, uh, it's looking good, boys. It's looking good. And I'm really, really happy with the progression already in such a short amount of time. I think I'm picking up this game a lot quicker than uh, FIFA 19. And it's really just coming down to composure. Don't do too much on the ball. Pass it around. Less skills. You don't need to do that. Just less skills. It's all about pass and move. Find the space. And I've got to say that this Bundu coming on. Six for two. One game, one goal, two assists. Two assists as well. He feels so quick. Really, really good on the ball, which is something that surprised me with only 74 dribbling. The strength is there. The finishing. The composure. What the hell? Composure. He's amazing. Oh my god, but this guy is someone that I have to recommend, boys. One game, 1,700. That is the beast at the back. You need to go and buy that card, and we're going to be uh, changing. We're not going to completely change the side, but we're going to be making some upgrades very soon. We have a lot of coins to work with now on 30,000, so I will look to either purchase the players that, that are required for the League of Nation hybrids, or I will just continue trading and getting ourselves up to a nice amount. But boys... Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you can support it, like I say, 3,000 plus likes for episode five, it would be uh, for tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Take it easy. Team out. Peace.